Today I'm going to show you how to use a PS4 controller on your PC Windows 10 through Bluetooth and play some Steam games. First thing you want to do is go to your Bluetooth settings and you can press the Windows key and type in Bluetooth and then click this button right here and it'll take you to your Bluetooth settings. Now make sure your computer has Bluetooth or has an adapter for Bluetooth such as a Bluetooth card that is connected to your PCIe port on your motherboard or it has or you have some portable USB adapter for Bluetooth. In essence you need a computer that has Bluetooth otherwise this won't work obviously. So the next thing you want to do once you turn Bluetooth on it probably is on already if you have Bluetooth activated you want to add a Bluetooth device. What you're going to do before you click Bluetooth or any other crazy button um, what you want to do is grab your PS4 controller, make sure it's charged. All you have to do is press the share button and the PS button simultaneously until the light on the back of the controller flickers white. So once you see the light flicker, that means your PS4 controller is discoverable by Bluetooth. So once you go there, we're going to go to the add device window and click Bluetooth and we're gonna wait until the controller pops up on the window and it is called wireless controller so we're gonna click that and it's gonna to connect to your controller and then once it's connected your PS4 controller the backlight should change from the flickering white light to a specified color I think it's typically blue and then that means that your PS4 controller is now connected to your PC through Bluetooth. Now there's no use of a controller connected to your PC through Bluetooth if you can't really use it in Steam. So the next thing you want to do is go to Steam, open up your Steam application. Well, what you're going to do once you're in your Steam application, go to big picture mode and then under the settings, which is the cogwheel icon, go to your controller settings and then from there make sure your PlayStation configuration support is checked. And then you should see your detected controller on the bottom left. So you could add additional controllers if you wish to. They should all pop up here and then they should all be usable within the Steam application. You could use this to identify, change preferences. You could change the things like color. You could change the color on your controller if you really wanted to. You could change the brightness as well. You can make it more dim to save battery. Or you could change the saturation. You could just make it completely white or bland. Um, you could also change rumble preferences again to save battery more than likely But uh, yeah, you could change that all here and then there you go Now you have a ps4 controller ready to play video games. I hope this helped you guys for those who are Struggling with USB cables and breaking USB cables because you stepped on them or rolled over your your chair, you know Hopefully this helped you guys um, See you guys next time